Here we're asked to switch back and forth between exponential form and logarithmic form for a given set of equations. Let's look at the basic form b to the y equals x. For exponential form, the equivalent, equivalent logarithmic form is log to the base b of x equals y. So again, logarithms are exponents. This y is the exponent on the base that gives the input for the logarithmic function. If we look at part b, we'll change that to logarithmic form. So our base is b, so b equals 6, y equals 3, x equals 216. Log to the base 6 of 216 equals 3. Same idea for part C. Log, the base is 5. The input is 1 over 25. The exponent is negative 2. In the last two, we're given the log form. We want to change to exponential form. Log base 7 of 16,807 equals 5. The base is 7 raised to the fifth power equals 16,807. 7 to the fifth equals 16,807. In this last one, you'll need to remember that log x is really log base 10 of x. This is the common logarithm. So feel free to write that 10 as the base if it helps you visually understand what all the components are. To change this equation to exponential form, it's going to be 10, which is the base, raised to the exponent, which is 5, equals the input, which is x. In this note down here, when you write expressions involving logarithms, be sure the base is a subscript and written just under the writing line for log. So in other words, let's take this log base 6 of 216. The log and the 216 are on the same level. The 6 is written as a subscript below. That is the base equals 3. So be sure that this part, when you're writing, does not start to creep up and become an exponent.